Hello. With the release of SysML v2, we have also access to the model through REST API and API and standard SysML v2 API. And uh, with the Katia Magic case, it's also available through REST API, Teamwork Cloud. And we can uh, now use the next level of uh, digital engineering. So, for example, list SysML v2 projects. It's uh, not integration, but it is ability to access API from outside and we can uh, do multi-tool uh, design with the help of that. So here, for example, we get um, multidisciplinary multi-tool design. So for example, here we get projects list, right, of the SysML v2. And now we can say, okay, show get uh, requirements from the last commit of a robotic arm testing project. You can stop previous effort and continue with the new one. So we have requirements and we can say, okay, now let's test the robotic arm based upon requirements. Yeah, let's test the real robotic arm based on requirements. And now let's uh, switch on the video. Here we have robotic arm. Let's run the test. So first of all, testing gripper, open position, fully open. And then we'll move full, fully closed positions. Okay. Now uh, do the okay. This is the elbow test based again on requirement. Okay, test it and uh, you know we'll provide report. Okay, now do the do the test on uh, real uh, on. Uh, Virtual robotic arm. Okay, so we can see here that it overlaps when it's supposed to be open, right? Okay, it detected that it's incorrect, right? So now it's closed, it's correct, but that is the wrong direction. So, okay, it is providing the status that. Uh, failed. Also here we are using robot simulation by Delmia. It also 3D experience platform and also it has the other type of analysis as we can see here it's like collision detection turned on and we can do that but we first of all just want to test you know the actual requirements. Okay so elbow movement tested everything was okay you know and then uh, virtual versus real verification we can see here that this failed and uh, physical uh, was okay. Uh, now uh, uh, let's do some uh, virtual uh, movements and uh, collide in order to check, you know, uh, this tool for the collision detection. Okay, so set uh, set uh, base to one twenty and uh, folder set a virtual arm base to 20 and shoulder to 90. I don't know what other degrees, but let's do it and see what will happen. So it actually said that, but it was not in the right direction, I think. So here we have it. Uh, okay, now let's do that. Uh, set the shoulder to zero. Okay, almost collided, right? So it's still not, and then uh, uh, set the base uh, to 
140. Let's see. Yeah, you see collided and immediately identified that it's still collided. And every time you cross the boundary, you detect the collision and we can actually say set all joints to 90 to avoid collision and should stand still. And we can produce report as a result of the whatever we want, you know, is the data. And we can also say, okay, I want to, okay, I want to see SysML v2 model. Can you open all of diagrams in Magic Lab? Magic Lab is also uh, capability and uh, separate tool which is released with uh, version 2026 it's a sysml v2 viewer the difference between collaborator and magic lab is that it uh, automatically generated on demand when you need to so it is available for every commit uh, every branch of uh, sysml v2 project on the v2 but not uh, v1 but it uh, allows you to see the models um, and uh, uh, and also it allows you to run evaluation and also sh shows the textual representation. So you can see here through API, we analyzed so that there are three views and we can open those views directly. We could open the magic lab here link, but we can get, just drill down to the view specifically. And here I'm opening it. And it opens exactly that view, you know, which so this is the table view requirements. And this is, uh, so we can go back uh, here to this uh, and open another one. This will be, uh, so here we have the diagram and uh, you can you know, zoom in uh, here. And you can see here nice interface and those are the requirements from the last one. Also, as I promised, you can actually right click and open in textual specification, everything. Uh, see the sexual specification is the viewer, so that's not editor. Uh, but again, also you can run, you know, evaluation here. So you see it's running uh, and uh, evaluated. So, okay, how the solution works. So here we have um, LLM, could be any LLM, could be ChatGPT or whatever, we are using Cloud Desktop because this is the easiest way to connect uh, to the MCP servers. And uh, who knows MCP or who doesn't, it's a model context protocol. So it is protocol to wrap APIs uh, and to give access to the uh, LLM, to the external tools. So those tools in our case is uh, Teamwork Cloud, uh, Collaboration Studio, it has uh, requirements, test cases, system architecture, so we get access for REST API. We have also robot arm, we get serial port, and uh, we have access to actual robotic arm through the same um, uh, MCP, Model Context Protocol, and then we have uh, virtual access created to the robot simulation and the LMIA running. So as you can see here, we use FMI as the interface, and on the uh, LLM site is still still a standard uh, MCP, which in this case communicates to UDP, in this case to serial, in this case to the REST API. So for the user, it doesn't matter uh, what API is used uh, for user, it's just uh, actual engineering, not uh, uh, connection and integration for users, seamless. As we can see here, we have uh, MCP for SysML REST API, MCP for Robert Arm, and then other MCPs like for this virtual robot simulation and could be more, you know, stay tuned, uh, we will share much more solutions. Uh, and uh, uh, how this looks like from the LLM side. Uh, so let's say here we have uh, uh, developer mode uh, settings. Uh, and here in developer mode, we can add configuration and we can add also uh, our connectors to different APIs. So, SysML v2, it's Python file, 
robot arm, it's uh, also Python uh, because this is the, how the cloth consumes those MCPs and then the uh, virtual robotic arm also Python file which collaborates uh, collaborates with the different APIs. So, so those uh, files uh, are the only thing what you need to connect some of them out of the box, some of them you need to create uh, because there was no MCP server uh, available. Uh, so thank you and uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, we will share other scenarios uh, and we will share other scenarios in the future.